It's game on in Ontario politics. The election campaign for a new provincial government, it's off and running. It follows a wild few days last week in which the opposition, as you probably saw, refused to support the latest budget by the governing Liberals. Robert Fisher is CBC specialist in Ontario politics, and he is here in studio with some insights. So the campaign buzzes are all painted, they're all revved up, the parties are shifting into high gear, excuse yeah. all of the puns, but... What sort of battle can we expect, Robert? You know, Bob Ray made the point the other day, and has in the past about this, and that is election campaigns are not about counting heads, the polls, but right. about turning heads. And I think this is apt in this Ontario election. Kathleen Wynne must turn people's heads away from the scandal that plagued the McGuinty government and has carried on into hers. Tim Hudak has to turn heads around to his thinking that mm -hmm. we can have less government and less spending and, you know, leave it more to you. Andrea Horvath has got to convince people that... Uh, well, I pulled the plug in a government that was full of scandal and broken promises, and there was no point in continuing because it was going to be more of the same. So a lot for the leaders to set out, even in the early days, as they kind of test drive the messages mm -hmm. and, and set the tone for the campaign ahead. And in test driving those messages, they'll see what works and what doesn't. Do mm. you expect to see a few things dropped along the way? Well, it's interesting. Small little thing. Perhaps only my mind would pick up this kind of detail. But, you know, when the, the Premier launched the campaign, she attacked Stephen Harper, told him to get out of the way, the words she used, about pension reform. Then by yesterday, they kind of softened that to move out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a subtle change, but perhaps move out of the way is more premierial than get out of the way. But it's an indication that they're watching messages mm -hmm. and they're tweaking them here and there. You'll get the same thing from Tim Hudak, get the same thing from Andrea Horvath uh, as they get ready for this campaign. It, it's all about the message, getting it out there, and, mm -hmm. and as Bob Ray said, turning heads. I would totally love to get into your head during, <laughs> during an election campaign because your, your smartness would probably freak There's me out. There's a lot of information here that, you know, it just rolls around and it's hard to know if it's important or not. But, Final question for yeah. you. Uh, could you label the biggest challenges for each of the leaders? And we saw pictures of the three of the main party well, leaders. Well, as, as I mentioned, it's critically yeah. important for Andrea Horvath to, to set the tone in terms of, well, this is why I decided this government's life had to end. Right. Because Despite a, the fact yeah, that unions yeah, perhaps didn't want to do The unions are not happy. That. They're yeah. already talking about strategic voting, as you well know, mm -hmm. that, you know, maybe in a riding where there's a good New Democrat, we'll vote for a New Democrat. If a Tory might win a riding, then they're prepared to say, OK, we'll vote for the Liberal mm -hmm. to stop Tim Hudak from becoming Premier. So that's important for Kathleen uh, Wynne as well to say, look, you know, I'm a viable option and I am the future, not the past. And she has said publicly, we, mistakes were made, I was a part of that, I apologize, now let's move on. It right. remains to be seen, Suhana, whether that will happen. Uh, and for Tim Hudak, it's, it's all about saying, look, it's time to go sort of back to the future. You know, Mike Harris had a message back in the 1990s, uh, you know, less government to cut taxes, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. You do it, pick yourself up by your bootstraps, less help for those who, who need help. Uh, it worked for two consecutive elections. Whether that is the strategy that will, you know, turn around Tim Hudak's fortunes, hard to know. But for Hudak, it's all about winning this election because if he doesn't, then he's looking for work yeah. on June 13th. And he's got to move out or get out, whichever. Whatever. The, whatever yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. There's um, plenty of people already lining up in his party, by the way. Uh, to run mm -hmm. in case there's an election uh, for a new leader after the campaign. Lots of time till June 12th. Oh. We will talk again. This is Robert Fisher, CBC specialist in Ontario politics. Thank you, Robert. Thank you.